lives in a pineapple under the sea. Square, 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 square. yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Sand Castles in the Sand, requested by Omega Space Pirate, Paul Peckham, and Mustache Man. So, this episode is about when SpongeBob and Patrick go to Goo Lagoon to have a day of fun. So, when they play frisbee, it really annoys everyone, including the lifeguard. So the lifeguard tells them to do something else. SpongeBob and Patrick are bored. So they decide to have an all out insane sand war. Sand Castles in the Sand is one of those simple SpongeBob episodes, but it succeeds at using its simple concept to its potential. And the idea of SpongeBob and Patrick having war with sand is very creative right there. The storyline feels refreshing. SpongeBob and Patrick having their sand war was so cool and very epic, as I must say. That's right, I'm really using a word like epic for this episode because when SpongeBob and Patrick really are having their war, it just feels so big and the scope and the animations when they're using the sand on each other is really good. Like, say, for example, with the sand boulder or the sand gargoyles or the sand robot that kind of looks like Optimus Prime, to be honest. Anything sand-related just looked really good. There is humor to this episode to make me laugh. It did an impressive job of blending the epic scenes with the very funny moments. When the writers were writing this episode, you can just tell that they wanted to have a lot of fun with it. And when you're watching this whole sand war, you could really feel that. The writers wanted to go all out. They wanted to make it a highly entertained episode, and they definitely succeeded at that. The only flaws I have with this episode is that how does SpongeBob not know what a Frisbee is? Like, they call it a small plastic thing that you throw, that you toss. It's all like, I thought that was just stupid that they don't know that it's even called a Frisbee. Like, I know SpongeBob and Patrick are stupid, but I would think they would know what a fucking Frisbee is. SpongeBob and Patrick say dialogue back and forth at each other a few times that does feel... A little bit tiresome, like every time Patrick hits Spongebob, he says something. Then when Spongebob gets back at Patrick, he says something. And it's just like, okay, we get it, we get it. We don't have to hear you guys say something to each other every time you're beating each other, one another, with this whole sand war. There is a dialogue that felt so out of place. Spongebob says, how do you like me now? And then Patrick says, I like you this much! I'm not joking. That was in the episode. Really. Yeah, wow. In the last couple of minutes, it gets very rushed. I thought the sand war from there, it went a little too far. And then once the sand war ends, the episode for me, it just really lost its energy from there. And it just stopped being this really refreshing and very epic episode from there. But overall, Sand Castles in the Sand is a lot of fun. I like this episode a lot. It's very creative. It uses its simple concept to its potential. It's very well read in. Seeing SpongeBob and Patrick having Sand War was very awesome to watch. So I'm going to give Sand Castles in the Sand a 7.5 out of 10. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.